North Korea, whose relationship with Uganda goes back to 1971, when Pyongyang provided weapons and training to General Idi Amin, has closed its embassy in Kampala. Uganda State House said in a statement on Monday night that President Museveni had met the outgoing ambassador of Korea to Uganda, Jong Tong Hak, who paid a courtesy call on him at State House in Tebe. During the meeting, President Museveni bid farewell to Ambassador Jong and lauded him for the job well done during his time of service in Uganda. Ambassador Jong informed the president that North Korea has taken a strategic measure to reduce the number of embassies in Africa, Uganda inclusive, in order to increase efficiency of the country's external institutions, said the State House. The development comes hardly a fortnight after Norway announced its decision to close its embassy in Kampala by the end of July 2024, citing administrative assessments related to the need for reallocation of the foreign services resources. Norway, which provides substantial aid to Uganda, said development cooperation would continue and that a substantial portion of today's aid is already administered by the Norwegian Development Agency, NOLA. In 2022, Uganda received NOC 382 million shillings, 131 billion in an earmarked funds from Norway for efforts in priority areas such as civil society, education, energy, refugees, and women's rights. In a rapidly changing world, it is essential for us to have diplomats in the places where they can monitor global issues that have implications for Norway and promote Norwegian positions. At the same time, we must continually assess where it is best to maintain a presence in order to safeguard Norwegian interests optimally with the resources we have, said Norway's Foreign Affairs Minister, Amniken Hidifed. However, many Norwegian firms continue to do business in Uganda's banking, agriculture, ICT, and renewable energy sectors. The North Korea ambassador assured President Museven that, despite the closure of the embassy in Kampala, the bilateral relations between Uganda and North Korea will continue. The ambassador also held President Museveni for consistently supporting the Korean government in enforcing its peaceful efforts to realize a harmonious unification of the Korean Peninsula. Although the Korean Peninsula situation is still intense. Our government is trying to stabilize the situation. That is why it continues to build up its strength to protect its territory and people, he said. Uganda is a long-term ally of North Korea. Museveni has said that he learned basic Korean from Kim sung during visits to North Korea. North Korea has provided training to pilots, technicians, police, marine forces, and special forces. North Korea's relationship with Uganda goes back to 1971 when Pyongyang provided weapons and training to General Idi Amin, who later staged a coup d'etat. The following year, a North Korean embassy was opened in Kampala. When President Yoweli Museveni gained power in 1986, he maintained and expanded Uganda's policy of welcoming training and munitions from Pyongyang. Over the next several decades, the North Korean embassy in Kampala served as a hub for weapons to be funneled into Uganda, though Korea Mining and Development Trading Corporation. Through Korean Mining and Development Trading by the end of July 2024, citing administrative assessments related to the need for reallocation of the foreign services resources. Norway, which provides substantial aid to Uganda, said development cooperation would continue and that a substantial portion of today's aid is already administered by the Norwegian development.